Hey, hey ladies. All right, go ahead, grab your extensions because we are gonna be doing a gorgeous side Dutch braid today. So I already have in my three larger wefts and now I'm just gonna be placing in the two side pieces. I'm gonna place both of these side pieces pretty much right on top of each other and this is gonna give me extra length and extra volume for the Dutch braid. Now this is super nice just because typically towards the front of your face is where you either have shorter layers or maybe some breakage. So this is an awesome technique when you're wanting a lot of fullness, especially when you're trying to do a side braid near your bangs. So now that I've got that in place, I'm going to be taking a small section of hair about three inches wide and dividing that up into three smaller sections. And then I'll start placing each of those sections underneath of each other. And that's going to create the Dutch braid. The reason I'm doing a Dutch braid here is because that typically gives it a little bit more of a 3D effect. Um, so I just love the way that it looks. So once I've gotten that braid started, I'm going to slowly be adding in pieces. As you can see, I'm adding in bang pieces, I'm adding in hair from the extensions themselves, and I really want to make sure that I'm getting in all of the hair from those side piece extensions, just because that's going to give me that length that I'm really wanting, especially because I'm wanting this braid to go pretty much all the way down. So whenever you're doing a longer braid and you're wanting to pull out pieces to make it chunkier, I always like to stop about halfway through um, and start pulling out pieces and then continuing on with the braid. I just find that it makes pulling out the pieces a lot easier rather than if I braid it all the way down and then try to pull those pieces out. So as you can see here, that one of those pieces got a little bit thin, so all I did was just add it in hair from the other side, we make it work, and now I'm just going to be kind of roughing up this braid because I am going for just a little bit of an edgier look. Um, so I kind of just rough it up, I brush my fingers up and down, shake it out a little bit, pull it apart, all the things, and that is going to give me a nice, beautiful Dutch braid, and then of course I pulled out a little side piece just to cover my ears because I just like the way that that looks better. Now I'm just tying it off with a clear elastic and then you're good to go. I hope that you guys love this hairstyle as much as I do. I think paired with like a jean jacket or maybe even a leather jacket just gives it that edgier look that I absolutely love. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.